What's going on you guys? I hope y'all are having a great day. We have another riding video for you. This was from one of the last rides on the FE350. Definitely not sad about that. But we ended up doing some really fun single track and we had a few newer riders with us. I don't want to say newer riders because they're very good, but they haven't been riding dirt bikes for too long. But shout out to Nathan and Katie. They both did amazing and they had a friend with them as well that did very good. This was definitely not a beginner friendly ride. Right off the bat, we were getting into some log jumps and some of which you could not avoid, but hey, that's how you learn. And at least for me, this is the fun stuff. This is what I like to do and why the FE350 is no longer around. So I'll probably voice over some of this. You might see my mug pop up now and then. But sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, we're the minority. Hey, buddy, got me excited. <laughs> Got a nice little evening ride going on. So like I said, right off the bat, just log jump after log jump. Oh, okay. Dude, Nathan did the full Superman over this log. He saved it though, that dude is agile. Yeah. Fucking man. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. He actually has a thumb throttle on that 250RX, which he let me ride later on, and I actually kind of liked it. Most of these logs I would try to double blip. A lot of these are small enough to where you can just roll over them, but it's a good skill to learn. I think the biggest tip that I have with log jumps is just hitting them straight on. Do whatever you can to make sure that you hit them straight on. Sometimes you don't have that option, which I'll get into later. This is gonna be rough, dude. Yeah. kind of funny because some people would look at this riding and be like why the hell are you guys doing this and that's just what's cool about dirt bikes motorcycles everybody has a different preference and what they like and like I say my favorite kind of riding is just slow technical and just playing around in the woods <laughs> that's why I said it was a bad idea I wanted to go where you wanted to go yeah yeah, like, yeah. I, that's why I told Tilly right now I was like the people that want to do this yeah me, you take them around yeah it's good experience, they need it. I don't think anybody followed me. I only liked one or two. You dickhead. <laughs> so this was actually Tilly's idea to go this way, so y'all can blame him. on that log right there I was just a little bit off and it kicked my tire out to the left and there's ways that you can counter that my rear wheel definitely had too much speed so it kind of gripped and blipped off to the side like that Whew. oh buddy pastrami he actually broke his hand so we won't be seeing him for the rest of the season injuries suck man and the crazy thing is he didn't even break it riding dirt bikes he was actually playing hockey so rest up man heal up soon injuries are a bitch well, that thing's so rutted out, too. You yeah, follow the rut. Oh, Zachy Bear. Ah. up the pace a little bit here. Zach definitely likes to go fast in these sections and it is a blast but the risk versus reward is just not there for me most of the time. As a lot of you know that's how I broke my leg was in a faster open section like that. I would say for the most part the higher the speed the bigger the risk. If I had to show a video of Ohio single track to somebody this is what it would be. That was just a beautiful section. What the f are we doing this section was named the vagina crack and you'll see why is this forks all right <laughs> what the f 
<laughs> Dude, they're gonna shit themselves. It is literally a funnel and your pegs touch on both sides. I had never done it before, so I was a little bit timid. I really didn't know what the best way to go about it was. I knew you had to be fully committed. What the hell are we doing, bud? Bro, what the f Daniel just said one foot on, one foot off, and just go for it. <laughs> sure enough, it went as planned, but this next section up here was a completely different story. <laughs> Bro, I'm too rusty for this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna shit myself going down. Yeah, yeah it is. No, no, yeah, please don't go down here. <laughs> if you guys enjoy watching me struggle, enjoy the next three or so minutes. Jesus! Shut it down. Jesus dude. What, just go down? I can't stand. Jesus Christ. What the f I can't hold shit. Jesus Christ, I'm about to throw up. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So the key to getting up this section was momentum. I obviously did not have that. I could come up with a million different excuses. DOT tire, high pressure, it is what it is. If Graham Jarvis was on this bike, he could have done it, no question. I cut a lot of this out, but when I tell you I was struggling for like 15 minutes, I am not joking. It was humid, 85 degrees. We had just ate lunch before this ride, so I was doing this on a full stomach. And if you know me, you know how I eat. So there was a lot of food in there and it almost came up. Thank you to Zach and Eventually Daniel came down and helped me and we finally got the bike turned around, but oh my god, I was spent after this. When I tell you I expelled all of my energy and this was still the beginning of the ride. For f sakes.
this. Oh, oh boys. What's the matter? I about died. Yeah, I about to lose my lunch. Yeah. Oh fuck. Down there. That sucked. Uh, I gotta get moving. I'm burning up. Oh, oh baby! Yeah. Holy shit! About to have heat stroke. what the hell Zach did there, whether he hit the tree or I think he got attacked by bees or a spider or something. Are you got bees on you? Good job. to get over a log at an angle. You come up parallel, put your left foot on it, and whip your bike over it. Actually running a moose and I know several people that are now I'm highly considering it it's either that or tubeless the tubeless is a lot more versatile but I've heard some horror stories and it can be more of a headache versus the moose it's kind of set it and forget it I think I would be happier with either but honestly I have never had issues with tubes I'm pretty conservative with my tire pressure though so that's what would be nice about tubeless or moose is I can run lower most of the time I try to hover around 8 psi and I'm like 190 pounds so I think that's a happy medium as far as peace of mind and not getting pinch flats but the rest of this section was just some more log jumps some good flowy single track and overall this was a damn good ride Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> How was that, dude? Well, it was. <laughs> that's what sucked. <laughs> it's like before we even got started, I was like dying. <laughs> this was our first actual ride since being out in Arizona. So man, did it feel good to be out in the woods, feel some dirt underneath those tires? It is a big difference. Definitely makes me appreciate what we have here. But I hope you enjoyed this ride along. I figured I'd do a little commentary and make it more entertaining. If you like this format, let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new, hit the like button if you enjoyed. We have a lot of riding content and some pretty wild plans to come soon. So I appreciate you following along on the journey and always remember to live free and adventure daily. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>